Now, the economic slow slowdown in emerging markets bottomed out last year, the IMF experts say. That would be good news for Brazil and President Lula da Silva, who on Monday met German Chancellor Olaf Scholz for talks over the long-stalled trade deal between the European Union and the South American Confederation Mercosur, consisting of Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay and Paraguay. Both leaders pledged they'd work towards the agreement being finished in the coming months, but not everybody is thrilled about that. Large corporations shape agriculture in South America. That's one reason why there have always been conflicts over the Mercosur Free Trade Agreement. South American countries want to export more meat to the EU, and this competition worries European farmers. Plus, more and more rainforest is being cleared for livestock farming. Environmentalists are fiercely critical of the Mercosur trade agreement. The Mercosur countries include Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay and Paraguay. Venezuela is currently suspended. The Mercosur deal would create a market with more than 700 million people, accounting for almost 20% of the global economy. It would be the largest free trade zone in the world. The Mercosur countries and the EU reached a comprehensive association agreement in 2019, after 20 years of negotiations. But the agreement hasn't been ratified yet. There had been concerns over Brazil's former right-wing president, Jair Bolsonaro, who ruthlessly promoted the deforestation of the Amazon rainforest. For more, let's bring in DW reporter Astrid Prange de Oliveira. Astrid, how likely is it that this trade deal will become a reality with Lula da Silva back as president? It's uh, very likely this time because uh, Lula already announced that he wants the treaty, the free trade treaty between uh, you and the Mercosur countries, Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay, Uruguay, he wants this treaty to be finished in six months after assuming presidency, and that would be uh, in July. And since he, um, uh, yeah, he announced that he will stop deforestation in Brazil, in the Amazon rainforest, the conditions for a new approach between you and Mercosur are set. Uh, the EU Parliament stopped this, this, this treaty negotiations in 2019 because of Bolsonaro environment politics. But now the situation has changed and things might uh, go on. So you think this time frame is realistic then, when Lula de Silva says the treaty should be completed uh, by the summer? Yes, I think it's realistic because there's already signs from both sides, like from the EU and um, and from Chancellor Scholz, who's uh, right now in Brazil. They already offered uh, support for climate protection, and um, they appreciate the 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 measures the Brazilian government announced to protect uh, indigenous territories and to protect rainforest. So there's room for new negotiations, definitely. What are Brazil's expectations when it comes to this free trade deal? Well, for Brazil, it's very important because Brazil has a very strong agriculture business, uh, as everyone knows, and has everything the world needs, commodities, food, soja, and uh, it may have like until three harvests per year. There's no subsidies subsidized like in the the EU. So uh, if there would be no tariffs for products from Brazil, for example, uh, that would really boost um, uh, the agriculture business. And we'll have a lot of Brazilian food products here in our market, definitely. DW is Astrid Prange de Oliveira. Astrid, thank you. That was my pleasure.